Good morning, science learners! Welcome to another science learning episode for quarter 4, week 4. For today's video lesson, you will learn about the different weather elements. and weather instruments. At the end of this video, you are expected to identify the different weather elements and common weather instruments to measure weather components. But before we begin, please be ready with your science notebook, ball pen, and take note of the important concepts of our today's lesson. Are you all ready? Okay, let's begin. Class, can you still recall our past lesson? Good. Amazing! Let me check if you can still recall our past lesson by answering this quick review. Direction. Label the water cycle diagram using the words on the box. Now class, how do you describe the weather conditions today. Do you know what the weather is? What about the components and elements of weather? Can you tell me the common weather instrument used to measure the different weather components? The term weather refers to a temporary condition of the atmosphere which is the layer of air that surrounds the earth. We describe it as the state of the atmosphere in our own part of the world. There are six major weather components that determines the weather at a certain time. They are temperature, atmospheric pressure, wind, humidity, precipitation, and cloudiness. Temperature. Air temperature has a direct influence on a fire behavior because of heat. Heat from the sun is transferred to the earth by radiation. The heat warms up the surface of the earth and the atmosphere close to the surface is in turn warmed by heat reflecting from the surface. This is the reason temperature above the surface is cooler than the surface of the earth. Temperature is the hotness and coldness of the air around us. It differs from place to place. The angle at which the sun rays strike the surface affect the temperature of the place. Places near equator have high temperature because they receive direct rays of the sun. One of the ways to predict the weather is to measure the temperature. A thermometer is used to measure air temperature. A room thermometer has number each on each side. The left side shows the Celsius reading. Its highest number is 100, while its lowest is 0. Look at the red column of the thermometer. The number near the end of the red column tells the temperature of the air. A thermometer may bear the Fahrenheit, the Celsius scale, or both. Air temperature is read in degrees Fahrenheit or 
degree Fahrenheit and degree Celsius. Wind refers to a moving air, as in breeze. The movement of the air relative to the surface of the earth, wind plays a significant role in determining and controlling climate and weather. Wind flows of gases on a large scale. It consists of the bulk movement of air. It refers to the strength and direction from which wind is blowing. Wind direction is named from which it originates, while wind speed is a fundamental atmospheric quantity caused by air moving from high to low pressure. Wind vane is another weather instrument that tells the direction of the wind. Wind direction is the direction from which the wind is blowing. The four letters E, W, N, and S represent the four directions, east, west, north, and south. If the arrowhead of the wind faces the north direction, we say the wind is blowing north. It is the north wind. If it is blows from the east, it is east wind. If the arrowhead between north and east, we say the wind is blowing northeast. The speed of the wind may be fast or slow. Sometimes it blows gently, but the other times it blows fast. An anemometer measures wind speed. In an anemometer, four cups mounted on arms are attached to a rotating shaft. The cups turn around as they are pushed by the wind. As the wind blows faster, the cups turn faster, too. When the wind blows gently, the cups of the anemometer turn slower. A change in speed indicates a change in wind speed. Atmospheric pressure. It is a force exerted on a surface by the air above it. As gravity pulls it to the earth, it is also called air pressure, exerted by the weight of the atmosphere. Barometer is an instrument used to measure air pressure. One way to measure air pressure is in inches of mercury. Air pressure is highest at sea level and it measures 29.53 inches of mercury. Humidity is a quantity representing the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere or in the gas. It is also called atmospheric moisture or relative humidity. Moisture in a form of water vapor is always present in the atmosphere. Hygrometer is an instrument used to measure the relative humidity. Precipitation, water that falls to earth in any form like rain, snow, sleet, or hail is called precipitation. Rain gauge is a meteorological instrument for determining the depth of precipitation that occurs over a unit area, and thus measuring rainfall amount. One millimeter of measured precipitation is equivalent to one liter of rainfall per meter square. Sky condition, this is a description of the appearance of the sky. It shows the variety of clouds present. It describes the layer amount, layer height, ceiling, and the sky cover. Class, remember the following. 
Weather, of course, because the radiant energy of the sun causes an equal heating on Earth's surface. There are several weather elements that determines the weather condition. Temperature is a hotness or coldness of air. Air pressure means force exerted against Earth by air molecules of the atmosphere. Humidity, the amount of water vapor or moisture in the air. Wind speed, this is how slow or fast the wind blows. Wind direction, this is the direction of the wind from which it originates. Cloud formation is the arrangement of clouds in the sky. Precipitation means any form of water that falls from the clouds to the ground. There are different weather instruments used to measure weather elements, like thermometer. Thermometer, it measures the air temperature. Barometer measures the amount of air pressure. Hygrometer, this is an instrument measuring the humidity. While the anemometer, used for measuring the wind speed. Wind vane is used to indicate the wind direction.